All right, well, new at six. Chandler Township hit hard by last week's flooding. There's so much debris, the fire department had to bring in dumpsters. Neighbors told Channel 11's Renee Wallace this should never have happened. Renee, does the township have a plan to fix this? Yeah, Dave, there is good news to be told here. I'm standing, by the way, next to Little Pine Creek, and of course, it's not the pine trees that's the problem. It's the rocks here. This looks like a beach. These rocks are a big problem because when it rains, the water here through the creek simply has nowhere to go but up over the banks. So that's the water line that's right there? The water line, yeah. What is that? Three feet? Almost three, three feet? Three and a half feet. Three, three and, and a half, half feet yeah. came up your wall. Yeah. It's been four days since several feet of muddy flood water covered K Street and swallowed entire backyards on Saxonburg Boulevard in Shaler. It's hard to imagine how much was lost in such a small neighborhood unless you were there today. Channel 11 went back to Shaler to see what folks were forced to throw out. Furniture, boxes of personal belongings all stacked at the curb today to be hauled away as garbage. Too damaged by dank, dirty floodwaters to be salvaged. What wasn't thrown out will have to be cleaned and sterilized, though, before it can go back in. This has to be so... Oh, it is. And you can't sell these houses. Every time it rains, these rocks keep getting pushed up and pushed up. Richard Ivanoff and his neighbors blame excessive buildup of rocks and debris in Little Pine Creek. They say they were promised dredging would be done last November. We need some help down here. It's the third time it's happened this year. Channel 11 went right to the Shaler Township manager who told us help is on the way. The contract is signed and rock removal in the creek will start by August 1st. Do you think it'll happen August 1st? I'm hoping, but I don't have faith. No. And the township manager told me dredging, though, isn't the solution. They say as soon as they do it, the, the creek just fills up again. He told me these folks here live on a flood plain. And after Ivan, the hurricane, the township offered to buy these homes, but there weren't a lot of takers. Unfortunately, he told me it will take a, another hurricane before that buyout is offered again. Reporting live in Shaler tonight, I'm Renee Wallace, Channel 11 News.